Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Channel, Brenda Hoffman Dear Ones, Knew You is so powerful you might have second thoughts about accepting the related responsibilities. Even though that last sentence appears threatening or overwhelming, it is neither. Instead, it is a reminder you can no longer hide behind the 3D screen of I don't remember. Even though you used your lack of knowing who you were for eons of Earth lives, you have now opened the gates to your inner knowledge. Most of you contend you do not know much more about yourself than was true before the last few energy bursts that you may be interested in something new or are tired or angry, but your self-knowledge remains as it was. Such is not true. You opened your inner being in ways not always describable. Even though you are not yet necessarily wholly new you, the one piece that is now and forever true is you can no longer claim ignorance when you do or say something. Your former little inner voice has become a megaphone the only voice now loud enough to declare who you are. You know who you are even as you evolve into that being. You may not hear the words, but you know when you are moving in the wrong direction because you feel flat, lifeless, angry, frightened, or experience physical or emotional pain. All indicators you are not where you need to be. Words are more of a function of your ego and brain. Your inner voice is of your heart. The word heart does not necessarily mean your physical heart but your emotional being that has little to do with your ego or intellectual voice. Until recently, you could always counter that you did not understand. Or you did something because others expected it of you. Or that voice or action was necessary because someone told you to do it. Or thousands of other 3D excuses appropriate when you blocked your inner information. I have to or had to was your 3D refrain. A refrain that is only appropriate for those who remain entirely of 3D. Your inner voice is not screaming at you every moment of every day, as was true for your 3D voice as it dominated your being and actions. For the first time while of Earth, your ego voice is weakening. Your newly strengthened inner voice is isolated because you are moving forward on your unique path. And the only way to do so is to follow your now dominant inner voice. Even though your ego voice will continue because it is part of your earthly being, it is a weak version of what was once your primary road map. This strange new being you are becoming can be frightening. You are not wrong, just different, including having difficulties explaining why or how to anyone. Nothing seems logical and many words and actions seem wrong because your urges feel counter to who you were and most often different than your societal dictates. New you is who you dreamed of becoming. You no longer have anyone to blame or even share your new being with because those you wish to share with are undergoing a similar transition. And those you want to blame no longer care. You are shifting into new dimensions, actions, and words. None of which is part of a 3D life. Perhaps you feel that you are on a tightrope without a net. Or you are no longer the quiet, peaceful person you once imagined yourself to be. Or you feel lonely even while surrounded by others. All indicators you recognize your new being. If you do not acknowledge your new being, you will experience fear, panic, anger, or physical indicators that all is not right in your world. Fighting to negate new you is no different than an infant choosing not to become a toddler. Whether that infant wishes to change physically and intellectually or not, it will happen. So it is true for you. The difference is the consequences are more notable. Not because you are that different but because you will not be accepted in either world. An infant must shift from universal knowledge to 3D societal rules within months of birth. You are repeating a similar pattern in the opposite direction. With some additions, you are returning to the being you were when you first entered Earth. As an infant, it was not easy to learn what words and actions meant, and now it is not easy learning what inner feelings mean. Just as is true for infants, you need to claim your life. You can no longer change the world, nor will you want to. Once you fully claim your being, the world will seem like a distant memory. 
Your new being is too exciting to continue any feelings you once had about caretaking the world. The earth can take care of itself, as is true for all new beings. You are a new being with universal thoughts and actions that have little to do with society or who you should be. Allow yourself to be who you have wanted to be for eons. You are not a terrible, ungrateful, or mean person. You are merely filling yourself with self-love and then acting upon it, as is true for the millions of beings transitioning with you. Follow your inner voice into joy or subvert any inner voice actions or words by following the guidelines established for others. You are no longer part of a group. You are evolving rapidly into the powerful and loving being you have dreamed of and acting upon that power and love as your inner being directs. So be it. Amen.